Don't be surprised when you find that your friends are fake. Don't be surprised. You've known these people for 20, 30, 40 years. You've even grown up with them. And then one day you discover they're snakes. I didn't know you were a snake. I thought you were a human being. Like what kind of snake syndrome are you suffering from? Pythonitis, cobratitis? Like what's going on here? <laughs> but it takes me to a scripture that I love. And I always stand on this because if you know me, I don't trust no man at all. Not because, oh, Sheila, you just need to heal. There's, not, there's nothing to heal from. Listen to what the Bible says. John 2, 23 to 25. Now, when he was in Jerusalem, he meaning Jesus, at the Passover, during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs that he did. But Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all men. And he had no need that anyone should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. Jesus was years ahead. He wasn't phased by fake people around him. Let's break down this verse a little bit. It says many believed in his name when they saw the signs that he did. When they saw the signs, that's, that's when they started to believe in him. That's when they started to see value in him. Oh my gosh, so we can actually get X, Y, Z from him. That's what the Bible is against flattery. I hate flattery. Oh my gosh, you're, like, you're so brilliant. And the Bible says, be careful of people who flatter you. So Jesus knew these people around him. Mm -mm. The Bible says he did not commit himself to man because he knew what was in man. When they saw the signs which he did, they believed in him. Why are you going to believe in me when you see that I got some type of influence now? When they saw the signs around you, now they want to come around you. They want to be your friend. Where were they when you didn't have any food? Where were they when you didn't have any money or have any place to go to? The Bible says like, how can you say you love God when you have this world's goods, but you can't help your neighbor? Jesus is like, I know what is in man. Now, why did Jesus say this? If you go to the book of Jeremiah 17, 9, it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? It says it's deceitfully wicked above all things, not even some things, all things. That's what the Bible says. Lean not on your own understanding, but trust in God. Follow your heart. <gasps> Follow whose heart? No. Follow the mind of God. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. There are so many times where man can just get desperate and use you and milk you in the name of I'm your friend. So let's stop acting like, oh my God, you hurt me. You were my friend for so many years. How dare you? No. Man's heart is deceitfully wicked above all things. So follow for more discussions on fake friends and what the Bible says about them.